Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And guys, this time it's gonna be on the Formula One. Supreme Protection Premium Pace Wax versus the Formula One Carnuba Wax. Now this wax right here was kind of high. This one here was like 15 bucks. Uh, I guess because it's got the advanced cross-link plumber technology in here. I only worked with this wax like one time. So I said I want to come back, put it up against some of the other waxes. Um, up against the original cell, Formula One. And uh, we'll see what it'll do. Now here, as you can see, I'm going to be doing it on my black Ford Explorer. I had a Formula One cross link over here to this side. And I had an original Formula One over here to this side. And uh, both of these waxes come with applicator pads and all that good stuff. And, um, yep, that's the way it is. Pretty good waxes, especially this one. I worked with it several times. But uh, this one here, I only worked with once. Now, the opening of the can is kind of crappy to me. They could do a better job with a, more like a screw on top or something like that. But, um, since they ain't, so we're gonna have to deal with the crappy tops. Now, that's the only downside of this guy. Like I said, the top is crappy going on this one. So, uh, that's the only downside that I see to their products. Okay, so now as you can see, I apply both products up here. I'm letting them kind of cure out here. And they're curing out over here. That's the Formula One synthetic, I mean, well, carnauba wax. And here's the more like the synthetic wax right here. Okay. Now, this is the latest one that Formula One bought out. It's the Formula One that I know of is Advanced Cross, cross Link Technology. Um, this is the only one I know they bought out last, you know, and they could have brought out some more stuff. I don't know nothing about it. But I don't think they did, though. So, it is what it is. Okay? So, we're just letting them cure out up here. As you can see, both sides curing out. Both sides curing out, curing out, curing out. Okay? And then we're going to buff them off, and then we're going to water test them. Y'all know how we do. Y'all hold one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm reloaded. Yeah, guys, I'm uh, just letting this uh, cure out here. Letting it cure out so we can get the best of the best out of the two products. Um, and mainly what you want to know, you want to see, is the water behavior between these two products. That's mainly all you want to... That's where you want to get the best out of the water behavior okay let's scratch them they ain't quite dry as you can see that's why i put these waxes on before the video start the one to this side is actually drying faster the formula one carnauba wax this uh synthetic wax is drying slower for some reason i don't know why but it's drying slower Okay, y'all know we like to get stuff done fast, man. We like to get stuff done fast. <laughs> okay. Now, like I said, if you purchase this wax, be careful when you open the can. They make some crappy tops. They should have made the tops like where you could just screw them up there and then screw them back off. They make these kind of tops where you press down and you got to take something like a screwdriver or something and kind of work it up. And it's old school with, in my opinion, but um, they should invest in a better top setup. Because the way this, if you open it with your hand, uh, the wax will kind of come back on you. So you're going to want to take a screwdriver or something. Take your time opening it up. Because if you don't, it's going to make a big mess. Trust me on that, guys. 
And here's the water bottle we're gonna be using to test this. The wax out, see what how it bees up. See how the design of these tops. It takes something to kind of pry that up. This one don't splatter, but this stuff is super creamy. Like uh, this one here is very, it'll get everywhere on you. It's creamy, but it's a good wax. From what I remember using it last. So it really did done a great job. It does a great job. So ain't got nothing you can complain about. Okay. All right, now I want to have this stuff cured out in the more. Let's see. Yeah, it's drying up some now, guys. All right. So what we're going to do, we'll give it another 30 seconds to cure. Then we're going to buff it off. Then we're going to water test it. Okay. And we'll see what it'll do. Y'all know I bring y'all that good stuff. Y'all y'all be tripping and y'all be slipping. Y'all know every day I try to bring y'all some good stuff, man. Some good matchups or something. You know, might not bring nothing brand spanking new every day. Nobody can do that, but hey, I can bring y'all some good matchups every day. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead on. And we're gonna buff the this one off right here we go guys come off like soap but it takes a while to actually cure out it takes a while to actually cure okay all right, so what I'm gonna do is move this can out of the way here. Put that to the side. Okay, let's bump this down here. I bring y'all more videos than anybody on YouTube. <laughs> all right. Okay, it's all off. It's come off like soap, guys. That's another thing. When you work on some of these waxes like this right here, guys, you're looking for something easy to work with. This one here comes off like soap. And um, yeah, it's just so easy to work with. Okay? You look for stuff like this. All right, so now we're going to move over here to the Formula One Carnuba Wax. And we're going to take this off. Last I remember using this comes off easy too. Let's see if we go. Yeah, come off light soap. See there, guys. Wipe off with ease. That carnuba really pops though. Really give it a nice shine there. Okay. All right. quick it come off there okay so everything is all off now what we're gonna do y'all know what we're famous for doing the spray bottle of water testing all right so we're gonna start off here with the carnuba way <laughs> all right guys here we go so I had you full with that carnauba wax is. Oh yeah, look at there. That's the carnauba wax side right here. Then you cross to where the latch it. Then we come over here to the synthetic wax side. Boy, is that beating the wolf. Look at there. Super hydrophobic, look at there. Now that's beating. Okay. Now let's come over here to the Formula One synthetic wax. Oh yeah, it's beating nicely too. Alright. Okay, that's enough water. 
Here's the synthetic wax side. I think we clearly have a winner already. I think the synthetic wax side actually not beating as well. Cross and link. Okay. Here's this side, the synthetic wax side. Okay, let's go back over to the carnauba. I think the winner is the carnauba wax, guys. The bees are butter on the carnauba wax side. This one right here is going to be the winner. The bees are a little tighter here over here, guys. I see it. So the winner is Formula One High Performance Carnauba Car Wax. The reason is, guys, this one here is like $5. I think you still can purchase this at, at your O'Reilly's Auto Park. You can also order it on Amazon for around five dollars, and um, this one over here is gonna run you like fifteen dollars. So uh, for the price-wise and the way it performs, the original Formula One Carnival wax is the winner. Bees better and looks to me it was more shinier. Also, all right, guys. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, guys, till next time, take care. I'll see y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.